Well, summer's definitely over here in San Diego. All this rain really has me thinking. Hold on. Basically all the rain, all this rain, the weather has me thinking about one thing and one thing only, and that's this, my bike, on the trainer. See, right here, Wahoo. All right. That should be good. Today's video is all about why I believe that riding on a trainer and Zwift is much better than riding outdoors. I don't know why I'm trying to convince you. I think I'm just so excited about the thing that I wanna share it with you guys. But here's what I wrote down. I'm gonna talk about the benefits of a trainer. So I'm gonna talk about erg mode. I'm gonna talk about convenience. So like weather flats, stopping and going uh, versus always on the gas on a trainer. I'm gonna talk about the FTP test, custom workouts, how it links with your app's devices if you have a training plan and uh, also to talk about riding online with friends. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. I only had two eggs this morning, so two eggs, salt, pep, one cup of oatmeal, peanut butter, honey, and a Chipotle for it, because it's one less thing to wash. I took a bunch when I was there last night. If you're like me, you've probably Googled or YouTubed at this point, Zwift custom workouts or Wahoo trainer, setting up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Kara, let me borrow this, and I don't know why I wasn't using this trainer all along. It is the best thing that has ever happened to my cycle career, if you want to call it that. So much so that I've tried to convince all my friends in my inner circle to buy one because I love it that much. If you're on the fence thinking about buying one, this video will convince you by the end why you need to buy one. Starting with the weather, obviously it's raining out here and I will say something that's super rad is you're indoors. It's convenient. You don't have to worry about flat tires. You don't have to worry about cars, traffic. If I had a ride scheduled and I'm like, looked at this weather, I probably wouldn't go out. I gotta be honest. But with the trainer, there's no excuses. You limit all the uncontrolled variables and everything is very controlled. It's just up to you actually getting on the bike. I hate riding outside because I hate having to go and then I'm on a good rhythm and then boom, you stop. And especially like if you're training for something, how do you expect to get a good workout? Let's say the workout calls for a 30 minute set at a certain amount of watts. Well, when you're five minutes into the set and then you have a red light, you have to stop. It's just better to do it on a trainer. Now I know some of you are probably social riders where you just like to go out cycle with friends and you're not really concerned with your power or like a certain custom workout. But for those of you that are, this is like the ideal thing to have. Again, this review is entirely just like my own opinion. I found that the trainer is like two to three, I would say probably three times harder than if you're gonna do a ride outside. Now the reason I say this is because on the trainer, you're not able to just coast. Your legs are just on the gas the whole time. All in all, it's just a better workout in my opinion, I think. And that leads me to number three. If you guys have a trainer, um, you've probably heard of erg mode, E-R-G mode. You want erg mode on if you're doing a custom workout or if you're doing a workout that you've picked through Zwift. Now the reason being is because essentially what erg mode does is, let's say you have a one hour workout. And let's say the 30 minute main set is 30 minutes at 210 watts. If you have erg mode off, you're held responsible to bike the 210 watts and the trainer is constantly gonna be saying more power and then you power up and then you go over the 210 and saying reduce power, more power. It's really hard to just hold 210 watts on a trainer or even outside, especially when you have variables of incline and decline, both outside and on Zwift. So Zwift does have incline and decline where it'll adjust. However, with erg mode, if you're doing a workout and the workout calls for 30 minute set at 210 watts, the trainer automatically holds 210 watts and all you're doing is pedaling. The trainer keeps you very honest. If the set says 210 watts, it sets it at 210 watts and you have to pedal. The downside is if you can't keep up with that power for that long and your cadence drops, then it starts to overcompensate and clamp down a little bit more on the resistance. That leads me to Number four, which is an FTP test. If you get one of these, I highly recommend doing an FTP test, functional threshold of power. It's a good number to gauge where you're at as a cyclist. So they say like, what power can you hold for 20 minutes? It's, it's kind of like an all out effort. The cool thing is once you have that FTP number, then you go to all the workouts that Zwift offers and everything is based off of your FTP. Something really cool is the custom workouts feature and it's the same thing. If you build custom workouts, let's say you're like, okay, I wanna do a warm up and then I wanna do a main set at 85% of my FTP, you can just raise it up and, and it'll show you exactly what 85% of your FTP, FTP is. 
I can't talk now. If you were to have a coach or you have a specific program, this thing links with everything. So it links with your Garmin watch. If you have that, it links with Strava. Everyone had, can download Strava. The Wahoo links with a heart rate monitor strap, right? There's a power meter built into it. It has a speed sensor built into it. And the cool thing is if you have a coach or if you're trained for something or you want something a little more structured and tailored to you, your coach can plan a workout. It goes onto your Training Peaks platform and then that directly links with Zwift and all you have to do is hit start, do the workout and the trainer will guide you through the workout. It's pretty cool stuff. It just makes life so much easier. If you do have a friend that you tend to cycle with or if you want new friends, Zwift is a great way or just being on the trainer is a great way to do that because I can be here, I can have a friend on the East Coast and we can ride together. I could have a friend, I told my buddy Josh who lives in the UK, I'm like, dude, buy one of these things, get a bike, let's ride together. So that makes it fun. And even just like being on Zwift and seeing all the people ride by you, it's very competitive and it's cool to just see people out there. I know it's virtual and it's kind of cartoony and video gamey, but it, but it does feel, you're like, okay, there's actual people on the other end of those riders. So it feels nice knowing you're like, all right, it's very motivating. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sure there's gonna be new things that I learn about this trainer, but I would say for, I think they're selling right now for like 800 bucks. Highly recommend, so far my experience with it, 10 out of 10, keeps you very honest. Extremely good workout, it's convenient. I don't like riding outside. I don't like getting flats. I don't like worrying about if I'm gonna get hit by a car. I love this thing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna link one so you guys can check it out. Again, I don't even I don't have a code. Next week, I think I'm gonna do like a little day in the life update, full day of eating, and then also talk about I'm getting a coach. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, that's all.